Okay, what we've done is we've built a very fast imaging system that does a thing called reflectance transformation imaging, which sounds very complex, but in fact what it does is help to take pictures of objects with the light in any position. Um, so it's easier to understand if you, if you look at an example here. So this is a picture of a wooden tablet um, which has been written on by Romans a long time ago and it's very mm -hmm. hard to read now. Um, and a normal picture will never really be perfect in terms of the lighting. But in this system you can move the lighting, for example, to the top or the bottom or anywhere. Um, and what that means is you can highlight the bits you want to see. For example here we can now see the wood grain. Um, and if we move it to the left we can more easily see this O here. So here is a picture of a very old tablet um, and with the lighting front on it's quite hard to see the details. With this software you can uh, see many angles of the lighting and you can see the kind of detail, uh, surface details that are revealed. So it's possible here to, to uh, imagine you were looking for tool marks from the original tool used by the person to press into the clay and so on. So Hewlett Packard Research Laboratories invented this technology a few years ago and it's been used sporadically around the world to investigate its usefulness in various museum collections. Um, the thing we had to do was produce one that was fast enough to be able to be used every day in a museum situation where you have lots of tablets, for example, which need scanning. What we're going to do is publish the details about how you build the dome um, because it is basically a, a black plastic dome, the kind of thing that might be used in a shop window um, and a conventional um, high resolution S digital SLR. Um, so together with the open source software it's possible to do the whole capture and processing uh, to produce the final images. So although you capture about 700 megabytes of original images, these have to be processed for about a minute on a quite a fast um, machine in order to produce the end result.